Welcome to part 8 of my mobile automation series utilizing Cucumber and Calabash. In this video we will be looking at creating a Cucumber YML file. Uh, we'll, look what, we'll look at what that is, we'll define some profiles, we'll show you what tags are, uh, we'll teach you how to load the resources into a profile and how to generate really basic reports. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is open up our project in Eclipse. What we need to do is create a configuration file. We can go ahead and click New, Other, create a folder, and we're going to put it in our Calabash Cucumber location, and we'll name it Config. Okay, so in the new config folder, we will create a new file and we will call it cucumber.yml, lowercase c. Okay, now that we have our cucumber YML file made, let's talk a little bit about what this is. So the, the YML file is just a file that allows you to store common cucumber commands you want to run multiple times without having to continuously retype them in. So it's a way to store variables essentially. We're going to use it to store profiles. So we're going to create two profiles right now. We can always create more, but we're going to start by creating an Android one and an active one. So the purpose of the Android one is this is the profile we are going to run when we want to run our entire test suite. The Android profile is going to be set up in a fashion that all of our tests that run will be using will be tests that we know we've completed. So once we finish off a test in a feature file we will go ahead and tag it with Android. So we can go ahead and use the command tags and we can do at Android. So what this is saying is when we call the profile named Android, it's going to look through all of the tags that we've given it. And we're only going to give it Android, but you can give it more with a comma. And you could call it, maybe this would be phone, if we made like an Android phone and an Android tablet if we wanted to break it up more. But for our purpose, we're only going to just call it Android. So this is going to be looking... If we call the Android profile, it will look for all the tags with Android. So how do you give something a tag? You just go ahead and do at Android above a scenario. That means this scenario will run every time you call the Android profile. And you can do tag as many things as you want. So this could be Android as well. And if we call the Android profile, these two would run. This scenario doesn't have a tag, so it wouldn't run. We could tag this one though with active. So the idea behind the active tag is this is what you're going to do when you're actively working on a test. It's not a test that's been completed, but you want to just run that one specific test. It allows you to quickly execute that specific test to verify if a step is working or not. So now that we have our, our tag set up, we can go ahead and load resources. So you can use the dash r command for a resource. And what you can do here is specify certain files. So we want to, because this is Android, if, for example, we're using this for cross-platform, we might have not just step definitions, but we might have iOS step definitions and Android step definitions, along with Android support and iOS support. And we're actually going to, at this point, we're going to rename this. So we're going to name this actually Android step definitions. And same with this. We're going to call this Android support. And the reason behind this is we might one day want to have this be a cross-functional um, Calabash testing framework. We might want to add an iOS support. So now when we load this, we can actually 
go ahead and load this specific step definition. So we can go ahead and just put this right here. And we can do the same thing for the support file. So what this is doing is saying we're loading the Android step definition and the Android support file. And it's going to give us these step definitions along with these um, support. Okay, and you can go ahead and just copy this down to the active tag as well. Go ahead and save that. And we went ahead and put two Android tags for these and one active tag for this. Now we can go ahead and see if this works by opening up a command prompt at our location and this time when we type in our bundle execute Calabash Android run in the APK name we can actually use the hyphen P for profile and we can select a profile we have created, either Android or Active. So we can go ahead and type in Active. Now this should run all of the scenarios that have the tag Active. Because we only tagged one scenario with Active, it's only going to run that one scenario. And this is how we can control if we want to have maybe a smoke profile to run a certain high level amount of tests if we want to run the entire regression if we want to run one specific scenario creating a bunch of different profiles is super important once you have a larger framework okay and as you can see the test only ran the one scenario that we had specified the last thing I want to go over in this video is how to generate a basic report. Reporting is super important because it's important to be able to have a way to see what tests have passed and failed and have them presented in an easy way to read. Because obviously looking in the command prompt isn't that efficient. Also, it would be nice to document and save your reports so you can look at them over time and even possibly give them up to higher up management so that they can see what your tests are actually doing. So the first thing you want to do is in your YML file you want to use the um, format and you want to use the pretty um, syntax. This is just going to make your um, reports have color. The next thing you want to do is use the format but you want to change it to an HTML page. And then the last thing you want to do is where do you want this file to go and what do you want it to be named. So you just do out and then you can send it to any directory you want. We're just going to put it in the main directory for now. And we can go ahead and save that. So now when you run your test using the same thing as before, when you run the bundle execute Calabash Android run APK name and then the profile name, you obviously get your results here, but it's important to note that now that since we have a um, a report being generated, when you run this, a report will get dropped off into your um, project. So you can go ahead and open up this report in any web browser you want. And as you can see, you have a report that says up in the upper right, the number of scenarios, um, passing fail rate, the steps, how long it took to run the entire suite, and then over here you have what the feature is called, and then the scenario, and you can kind of um, open this and close it, and you're going to be able to get a bunch of different um, tests the more you have tagged. Uh, as you can see, it's not the most pretty and easy to navigate uh, reporting tool, but that is what they give you. In a later video, we will actually convert it to JSON, and then we will run our own, or not our own, but a more improved uh, reporting tool called Cucumber Sandwich. This will allow us to have um, more interaction and some graphs in it as well.